What's going on, you guys? Slim here with my boy Agent Persuasion. We're here at YCS Seattle. What's your name, bro? Uh, Destin Casper. And what did you do? I taught 32 at BA. The in 2017. Mm -hmm. Next level. All right, man. And apparently you were playing more than 40 cards? I was playing 60 cards. 60 card BA with one mowing. With one mowing. mowing. All right, man. Well, we got to see this. All right, so the brick? Do not play. No, Do not play stay. BLS. I love BLS. Don't play it. Uh, two max C, so you can win Ooh. going second against Zudiac. Yeah, look at those they shots. have to be ulti, though. They have to be like ulti, or else it doesn't count. Yep. Um, the best card in the deck by far. Yep. Fairy Hill Snow. That's Bay right there, though. You need to be able to play around Kaijus. If they Kaiju your Beatrice turn one before you send anything, they're literally just going to Zoo or TK you. You can dump this, and if you went for just a Dante, you're, it's live. Without them Kaiju and you. And if you have to remove his FBA, it's fine. This is just literally the card that won every Zoo matchup. I played eight zoos, by the way. Damn. <laughs> um, four speedroids. Um, it's really good, but going second, if it gets deburied, you have to stop right there, which I don't, which sucks. Yeah. Plus, you have a break. Yeah. <laughs> uh, triple Vanny. Ooh, amazing. how was that? Amazing. Um, That's a spice right there. Against Infernoids, they, he had two Devi uh, Decatrons out. He ripped the third one. But wow. Out. I'm like, okay, must be nice. Yeah. But um, against Zoo, going second, you can get this off after forcing their Trident, even at the cost of a Dante. It just it comes out. You can make Quip plus Vanny's Fiend. It's just too good not to main as a win condition if you don't open three BAs. Uh, two Ghost Ogres. Um, it's a light for BLS in theory. It's a level three if you have a Livic play, if you have to. It's just another good hand trap, but that's pretty normal. Uh, Bay? Yep. <laughs> yes. Best, I know, best has card. to be ulti. <laughs> has to be ulti German. Yeah. Um, triple Rhino. Um, this is triple because at 60, you're not going to mill grab and sear enough. So you need as many targets as you can. It can act as a BA if you open it, but that's just. Yeah, just that. And then um, Graph, Seer, Triple Rubik, so you can play around D Barry and Virgil. Um, double Trigig for top decking. It's actually the weakest BA, that's why it's only a two. Yeah. Triple Skarm for searching. Triple Barbara for burning. 1700 bodies relevant. Triple Cow for bouncy back row. Triple Libby for playing around. Just anything. Triple Alec for disruption. Same with Farfa. Ideal hands would lead to Ma Beatrice Maquip with either a Farfa or Alec under it. So you can disrupt the Zodiac combo. Yeah, they can't play you guys. Yeah. And that's the monster lineup. I believe that. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot of monsters. <laughs> Uh, for the spells, we have one mowing. All right, how many times did you resolve that? I only run it twice. Once. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, so you go first, and you open mowing. It's at best a Dante and a Scarf. Yeah. And then you lost you. <laughs> and it's like, and if you lose all your Farfas, you lose all of your Alex, you, it's not good. Going second, you activate this. You can bounce back, or you can Farfa, Alex, just disrupt them to hell. So at one, it was like a last minute one of also 60 card mirror matches is your worst matchup yeah. so you wanted to play this just as a one of so if you play against zoo and you open it that's the two desires i was very much against this at first because losing seer losing graph losing tour guide but you need to get to beatrice and you if you possible get to make yeah. and if you lose snow that really sucks but triple alert because we need to get two good cards and by losing bad bas uh Ragaki and two dark Pulse. Uh, we need mass clearing for going second against Zoo because sometimes it's just hard to break their boards, especially if they have a D barrier. Uh, Foolish just for getting them out, getting Graf and Seer out of that before you desires. And onto the trap line, uh, two D barrier because D barrier is a good card. Why not three? Um, at three, it honestly was clogging. Like, I need traps to like do something when I mill them or just move them. Two break their seal for banish uh, just negate. If it gets milled, I can stop. The plays. Um, this was good because I could bait the Drantia, tribute into Vanny's Fane, and then I have the Breakthrough Seal for stopping the Viper crash or a lot of other things. Yeah. Also, against Infernoids, I can stop. I can force them to banish or stop Deviati. Uh, skill train. Oh, uh, this I bet was, that was pretty nutty. Yeah. It was great. I actually won my uh, very statue matchup because of this. Oh my god. Uh, That's this, he, he was like, "What do I? What do I do now?" Um, this is just because Zoo can't function on this card. Yeah. I wish I had multiple. Torrential, just another board wipe. This was just, in my feature, this was amazing. Like, yeah. With make Quip, I can protect it. I blow up a Dante, okay, cool, Dante's dead. Yeah. Add back. And two Dynomiscus. This was amazing. Sometimes you just need more damage, so summoning it back and beating it in there is good. Banishing the Mamorat, banishing the Barrage if they target something else. Banish Imagination, Seer. 
Yeah. And then if I mill it, it can actually do something. Yeah. For sure. so, so 60 card main 60 deck. 60 cards, all right. Okay. Side next tree, you choose. Um, I'll do side first. Uh, two Majesty Sphinx. Uh, this is for going second against Zodiac and for other matchups. Basically, the theory is your special BA and then your tribute to Madge turns off their, their Dryden, turns off their Emerald. They have to Kaiju over it to win that game. And if they're going first, they're not leaving it in as many Kaijus usually. Mm -hmm. um, one Radiant because it's a dark Kaiju alert. This is very important. It didn't come up. I never cited the Kaijus this event. This is because against Metal, I need to Kaiju with a 2700 on their Kirin. Crash Beatrice and bring out Big Dante and kill this. Yeah. Because sense. then they have a really hard time dealing with Big Dante. Right. I didn't play any metal, I just played a bunch of pure. Yeah. I'll shoot all dragon. This is for Infernoids. I need a way, if I put Beatrice, to pop Imagination because Imagination does hurt. It gives me some advantage, but I need to be able to pop that because otherwise they're going to fill that turn. Right. Jewel Magical Spring for Metal Foes that I never played against. Um, one slumber because I can double off Beatrice to search these and I can just resolve it. It's just a good card. Two twin twisters because I need to pop backwards with Zeus sometimes. There's some just unexpected stuff. And if I discard a Graph, Seer, Farfa, discard or discard Alec, destroy a back row, trigger, negate their Drancia. Like, that's pretty yeah. good. Uh, this was amazing. Yeah, I was going to say, that's how good that is card. that that new yes. virus? Um, I went se my round four. Um, I win game one. Game two, he starts. He does Totem Bird. Drancia, Emerald, search a bunch. I'm like, okay, cool. I drop a turn. I take Foolish Heen Gates. I set Skarm, set this. I hit activate it. Skarm, baby. Oh my god. I hit all the Vipers in his hand. I hit everything. He had one Kaiju, one Slumber. And I just dropped Vanity next turn. That was the game. Nice. Yeah. And then two Finger Even. This was for Infernoids and sometimes going first against Zoo. It was really good, actually, against Inferno for returning the Deviant. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah, so it's and it's just right. a foolish burial on yeah. that turn. Yeah, full force that. Right. Yeah, you can use that That's a new right. Saiyan game crush card. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, oh right my god. <laughs> it's a good All old right. dream. Alright. Okay, extra. so extra, you have the Pilgrim. Um, if they kill Beatrice, you need to have the big threat. And it gets metal. Uh, Virgil, if they debury you, I was at two, but it just doesn't come up enough. Yeah. Um, this was amazing against Infernoid, actually. He had a Deviati, I put this on field. We just sat there. He, he, <laughs> I'm not using the effect, I'm just, I'm just, you can attack it, sure, no damage, yep. no effect, I won't take it. And eventually I just overpowered him, because he can't special. Uh, the lady, yep. of course. One downer, this actually came up once in the whole event. I would, I almost put this in two. Um, this is important, Alucard and Ghost of Angel of Mischief. No other rank three has two valves and more defense. So if I open two random BAs and full force, I can't resolve the full force. Unless I do Alucard, Chaos Succeed, and then I can full force that with 25 defense. Oh, um, kill them in time. Yep. <laughs> Never came up. I, I summoned it once as a beater on the skill drain. Um, Scrap Dragon is a rank 3, I don't know why it even exists. <laughs> Levier, this happened in Infernoids where I summoned back Seer, got back Dante, and Utopia in the future. Two make clips. I was at one. Two never came up the event, but in Tessie did a lot. Basically, you need this secondary um, disruption with Beatrice. It's not just enough for one disruption against Zoo. And then triple... Of um, triple Dante. Yeah, of course. Because he ain't going nowhere. Yep. Yeah. All right, man. Well, do you have any shout-outs or anything? Uh, Shout-out to Jared for teaching me the Cardian matchup. That was <laughs> the most relevant. I played no card. Ah. <laughs> um, Shout-out to Marmor Rap for being a stupid card. And shout-out to fucking Dweller. All yeah. Right. All right, man. Well, congratulations on getting top 32 with a very unique deck. Uh, apparently, Dante is still alive in 2017. So good mm -hmm. stuff, man. And just uh, thank, uh, congratulations on top 32. And thank you for the deck profile. Thank you. Thanks.